Just imagine. Frying up a slice of this. Watching it shrivel and char, neither of you blinking as you casually sip warm gin from a Burger King Spider-Man 3 collector's cup. The edges of the slice begin to curl. They split. You are both fractured, you think. Or is it the meat clown who thinks that? Not sure. More gin. Sip and char. Char and sip. No smoke detector, thank God. You took the 9 volt out and used it in your blood pressure cuff. You drained it in a single afternoon, over and over. Inflate, too high. Deflate, inflate, too high. Deflate, inflate. Fat in the skillet pops and spatters your bare midriff, calling you back to the moment. The meat clown refocuses you. The meat clown knows you worry too much. The meat clown knows you scream in your sleep, which is why you don't sleep anymore. The meat clown knows why you scream, why you drink so much. The meat clown knows why you put a brick through your TV during a rerun of Mori Povich last week, and why you ripped the wiring out of your bathroom wall. The meat clown knows too much. It knows deep down that you're no different than it. Just one meat clown cooking the other. You know he'd do the same to you if he was the one wearing the Bermuda shorts and his ex-wife's mink slippers, and you were between two slices of stale wonder bread. He'd feel the same too. Nothing personal, old friend. Hush now. It'll be over soon. No more pain, meat clown. No more pain.